partners, my name is Renchip Tajilanda and I will be your presenter of today in our video. Now, before we start the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, don't forget to hit the thumbs up for this video, and also click on the subscription bell to get more information about Best Partner Education. Okay? Now, let's get into the video. Okay guys, today what we're going to discuss about is to dig deeper inside the listening test of IELTS, particularly the section 1. In this um, video, we will dig deeper and try to dissect um, about the section one, okay? How to do it, and then I will give you the practical tips on how to handle uh, the question uh, in section one, okay? But first thing first, let's see on the screen here, guys. I want to introduce you to the sample question here. We got the sample question from the Cambridge um, IELTS Academy 14 here. So it's a very good resource for you if you want to um, practice uh, IELTS yourself at home and also to have the independent learning uh, by yourself, okay? Now, as you can see here, guys, this is the example that I can show to you. Um, as you can see, section one, okay, there are 10 questions, mostly in listening uh, IELTS, particularly in section one, you will have that question, uh, question one and 10 in section one, okay? Now, as you can see also here, it's in form of, uh, well, it's in, it's in the um, form, the question form is a form completion, okay? Um, and there are 10 questions, as you can see here, with, and you have to answer it by filling the blanks here, given in, on the screen on this um, example questions, okay? Now, what to do first in IELTS, okay? Especially in IELTS listening, okay? Some people will try to answer it basely, base, uh, based on instinct. Instinct here means that they will just look at the questions and try to figure it out, but actually that's a wrong step. The first step that you have to do, and the very most important thing that you have to do, is definitely you need to see the instruction, okay? Now, where is the instruction? Simple, it's here, below the complete the form below. Usually they are located here. Either it's complete the form below or complete the notes below, okay? Depending on the type of question itself. Now, as you can see here, um, the instruction mentioned, write one word and or a number, meaning that possibly the answer will be one word or a number or perhaps a combination of both, okay? Now, how, to, how do we figure that out? Well, I will tell you later, so hang on there, okay? Now, as you can see here, after you see the instruction, what do you have to do? Simple, you have to see the topic here on top of the uh, form here. As you can see, they will talk about crime report form, okay? Usually in the audio itself, and later on I will play it for you guys, you will also hear um, the paraphrase version of the topic here given in, the, in, the, in this sample question here, okay? Now, it is very important for you to understand that, and it is very important for you to, understand, to comprehend what are they going to talk about. That way, when you listen to the audio, you will be more prepared and you will also be um, able to understand easily on what they're going to talk about because you know what they're, go they're going to talk about and you just have to simply um, understand the context of the audio itself. Okay, that's for number two. Now, number three, what do you have to do? In the IELTS um, in listening test, they will give you usually a specific instruction on which number that you have to do first, okay? And you will also be given a time to check. So they, they call it check in the audio, but actually what they mean by check here is actually trying to figure out what's the possible answer for that one, okay? Now, usually it's one minute or so, okay? So in this particular sample, uh, we're going to focus with number one until three, okay? Now, after you see, uh, after you read the instruction, after you um, understand the topics, okay? And then the, the third thing that you can do is simply to try to predict, okay? Try to predict what will be the answers, okay? Now, as you can see here, on the screen, let's see for number one first. In number one here, where is the clue here? 
the clue is located on the left side of this form. As you can see, on the left side, it's the uh, uh, personal information here. Um, it's nationality. So nationality here is going, one of the nationality would, nationalities would be the answer for number one, okay? If you think about nationality, you will be, you will, you will be um, having the thoughts over maybe Brazilian, um, Australian, American, uh, British, um, let's say Indonesian, okay? And the other nationality that you can think of, okay? So if you have that in your mind, then you will, you will be prepared. You only have to wait for the audio to mention that answer. But remember, they will always give you um, a kind of like, a kind of like um, diversion in which you in which you, I'm going to explain about that during the audio play later on okay now for number one it's possibly a, a nationality so if you figure that out then you just have to prepare for the audio okay now in the second um, questions here guys the clues is reason for visit okay a reason why um, Louis Taylor here wants to uh, wants to visit okay and in here mention business and it's and then after that um, to buy antique blah 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 so it's possibly an object it's possible it's possibly a noun as well so but what noun? what can what word is that we can see we can simply see the clue here the clue here is actually in antique okay remember try to remember that everything here is actually is actually mostly maybe 70 percent or so it's a part of paraphrase from the audio or a synonym okay mostly so if you think about it if you think about the clue before antique so what would be the synonym of antique well there are plenty we can say old ancient uh old ancient um historic so stuff like that stuff that a word that is pretty much similar with the word antique itself okay so all you have to do is to keep on guard with that synonyms and i'm pretty sure that they will mention the synonyms not the word antique itself they might use antique but maybe the position of the word itself is not like in the question form in here in the screen here okay now in number three itself so what's the clue the clue is current address okay if you talk about address so possibly a street possibly a name of the building and in this case it's it's possibly a name of a building because they mentioned an apartments here and there's a number as well okay so they are not going to have a double a uh, double answer for example what, what I mean by double answer is they mentioned the number here so it's not possible if they um, put another number in here okay and if we talk about streets if we talk about the streets name then why they put the apartments there so possibly it is related something with the the name of the apartments or or, or something related with that one okay now okay now I will give you guys okay um, an audio play uh, particularly in this uh, in this in this um, section okay now we'll give you the examples over it and I hope that you can also do you can also try to answer it at home and after that we're going to discuss it together okay all right I'm going to play the audio here a woman reporting a theft to an officer in a police station first you have some time to look at questions one to three okay as you can see there uh, in the audio as I mentioned before uh, they will instruct a specific numbers that you need to finish first okay but they do not mention how long um, to check the answer but but, but it's, it is actually a one minute so in that 60 seconds you have to try to figure out you try to um, try to predict what would be the, the best answer for that one or for just perhaps to prepare on what kind of words that will come that will come up uh, from the audio so that you, it can, so you can easily answer the question. Okay, so I will give you time to prepare. It's one minute. Don't worry.
you will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Okay. Usually, they will have this. They will have um, example first on how to answer it. But uh, in some cases, in the real exa examination, um, they do not have that example so just keep in mind that possibly if you're if you if you ever got uh, you experience um, a real test before and there's no such things like this one example then don't worry it's sometimes they have the example sometimes not so it's just uh, technical issues actually good morning uh, what can i do for you i want to report a theft i had some things stolen out of my bag yesterday i'm sorry to hear that Right, so I'll need to take a few details. Can I start with your name? Louise Taylor. The woman's name is Louise Taylor. So Taylor has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to three. Now, good luck. Good morning. Uh, what can I do for you? I want to report a theft. I had some things stolen out of my bag yesterday. I'm sorry to hear that. Right, so I'll need to take a few details. Can I start with your name? Louise Taylor. Okay, thank you. And are you resident in the UK? No, I'm actually Canadian, though my mother was British. And your date of birth? December 14th, 1977. So you're just visiting this country? That's right. I come over most summers on business. I'm an interior designer, and I come over to buy old furniture, antiques, you know? There are some really lovely things around here, but you need to get out to the small towns. I've had a really good trip this year until this happened. Okay. So you've been here quite a while? Yes. I'm here for two months. I go back next week. So may I ask where you're staying now? Well, at present I've got a place at Park Apartments that's on King Street. I was staying at the Riverside Apartments on the same street, but the apartment there was only available for six weeks, so I had to find another one. Okay. And the apartment number? 15. Right. Okay, can you answer it? Um, um, can you, are you able to, to answer the questions well from number one to three? Okay, well, um, I will tell you whether your answer is correct or not, okay, or your guesses. Don't worry, and don't worry, right? If this is your first time and, you, and all of them are mistake, it's fine. Remember that the key to get to get your target in IELTS, it's not about perfection, but it is also it is about improvement. Okay, so please keep in mind that if you have low score in your IELTS, it doesn't mean that you cannot improve in the future. So please, okay. Now let's see, let's see the first um, question then. Okay, so there are two possibility uh, over the uh, over the answer for this num for number one. Okay, so the first possibility is that she mentioned that. There is a word Canadian based on the audio and also British. Okay, so there are two possibilities here. One of them is the distractor. Okay, one of them is a distractor. So if you are not carefully listen to the audio, then you might get tricked over this one. Okay, now let's see. Let's see here. Um, let's repeat the audio, right? And see whether the answer for number one is Canadian or British. Can I start with your name? Louise Taylor. Okay, thank you. And are you resident in the UK? No, I'm actually Canadian, though my mother was British. Okay. Louise mentioned that I'm actually Canadian, but my mother is British. Keep in mind that this personal information is about Louise, so it's not about her mom. So basically the answer is Canadian because that's her nationality because she mentioned that I'm Canadian. Okay, so we the distractor here is British, not Canadian. 
That's word number one. Okay, do you get it correct? You should get it correct. Good for you then. Okay, now let's get into number two then. In number two, um, the answer is probably, probably a furniture or old. Okay, so there are two, there are one of them is um, is the distractor, and if you guys if you guys listen listen to the audio carefully, then you know which one is the distractor, okay, and which one is the true answer. So now let's see whether your answer is correct or not. And your date of birth? December fourteenth, nineteen seventy seven. So you're just visiting this country. That's right. I come over most summers on business. I'm an interior designer, and I come over to buy old furniture, antiques, you know. There are some really... Okay, oops, sorry, furniture, not furniture, okay. Now, based on the audio before, she mentioned that she wants to buy an old furniture. An old furniture. Did she mention the word antique? Let's see. Lovely things around here, but you need to get out to the small towns. I've had a really good trip this year. Okay, so she probably mentioned, mentioned antique as well, right? But the point is, the answer is furniture, okay? Because the word old here, um, old here is similar with antique, okay? So that being said, the answer is furniture, not old, okay? That's for number two. Now, what about number three then? Hmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, sorry. First of all, I almost forgot. So first of all, in number three, there are two possible answers. So the first one is park and the second one is King Street. So let's see which one is correct. Until this happened. Okay, so you've been here quite a while? Yes, I'm here for two months. I go back next week. So may I ask where you're staying now? Well, at present, I've got a place at Park Apartments that's on King Street. I was staying at the Riverside Apartments on the same street, but the apartment there was only available for six weeks, so I had to find another one. Okay. Okay, so there are three possibility. okay? There is a Park, King Street, and Riverside, if I'm not mistaken, there, okay? All right, now which one is the true answers? There are two distractors, by the way. However, you can simply eliminate King Street because of what? If you go back to the instruction and if you read the instruction carefully, this is why, guys, you need to read the instruction carefully. Remember that it's only one word. Meanwhile, in King, King Street, there are two words. So it is a no-go or it is, it is absolutely wrong, okay? So there are two possibilities now, Park and Riverside. Which one is the correct one? Well, one of them is distractor, obviously. And remember that she mentioned that I stayed at the park apartments. She mentioned Riverside, but Riverside is is actually the one that she intended, but not the one that she staying now. So with that being said, then the answer is park. Okay. Now, do you get all that correct, guys? From number one to three. Well, if you follow my, my four steps before, my four practical steps before, then I think that you will be fine, okay? Let me remind you again. Remember that first thing first, you have to read the instructions. Second of all, understand the topic, listen to the topic, or simply read the topic or, or the headings of the form or the note completion or whatever type of question uh, it is. The third one is try to use that one minute to predict the questions or analyze uh, the clues because the clues are actually surrounding the uh, surrounding this report form okay or these questions it is a cr it is in form of the crumbs okay so you, all you have to do is to follow the crumbs you have to follow all that small pieces of clue to try to figure out what the, what's the uh, to try to figure out the possible um, answer for each questions yeah. okay and the fourth one is, of course, to stay focused, okay? I know it's hard to, it's, it's actually easier said than be done, right? But what I mean by focus here is simply to train your ears to listen on what you have to listen, okay? That is why you need to do step two and step three, because those two steps are the one that will help you a lot to stay focused, okay? And 
and please just before the test please to always just let everything go you have to be professional inside the test room everything is meaningless except the test so that's the best um, advice that I could give to you guys because sometimes letting everything go just to stay focused on one thing will definitely uh, help you on answering the questions or just to simply get the best score for you okay that would be for our discussion today especially for the IELTS okay there are uh, we're going to continue uh, discussing the section 2 uh, of IELTS listening test right so uh, tell me what you think about it uh, do you think it's useful for you? Do you think do you think that do you think that uh, the the tips that I give to you, the four practical steps, could help you a lot? Uh, yeah, you can share it in the comment box below. Okay, so thanks very much for your attention, guys. I will see you in the next video, and goodbye, and stay safe, everybody, and always study to be the best, because if you want to get the best result, then you have to have a best preparation. Okay, thank you so much and goodbye.